<laughs> Hi everyone! Today I have the day off so I thought I would make a video and I have some stuff I want to do around the house so I was like, why not make a vlog? Um, I'm out of breath because I was just dancing so hard. My boyfriend got me these headphones for Christmas and it's like such a game changer to like, I just feel like I'm in my own world when I have these headphones on. I'm gonna yeah, I was just going hard. It's snowing out and I feel like it's the perfect day to make some bread. I love to make bread. It's like so much fun and so simple. Like why did I think it was like such a hard skilled thing to do? Like I'm, I'm sure certain breads like take some skill. Like I'm making very basic breads um, and you know they could probably be made much better than I'm making them but for how I'm making them, it's so easy, and it's just such a great, fun thing to do, especially on a day like today. Um, so I'm going to do that, and I'm going to vlog it. I'm also doing some laundry. I have to, like, break up a bunch of boxes. That's, like, pretty boring. Maybe I won't vlog that. But, yeah. So far, I've been drinking some coffee and just hanging out. That's the plan for today. And I might write my friend a poem. I've been writing poems for my friend's birthdays and my boyfriend and my family and whatever. Um, it's just really fun for me to do and people seem to really enjoy it. Um, and my friend's birthday was the other day and I wrote her a poem and I literally just cannot find it. I have no idea where I put it. But I'm gonna write her a new poem and make her a new card so maybe I'll like take you along that journey with me of writing a poem because I don't know. It's pretty easy and it's pretty fun to do. First step, we're gonna bake some bread. French bread, active dry yeast, sugar, water, salt, and flour. Very simple things that you might already have in your house. I'm just gonna get out my ingredients. I tried to be like a healthy girly and make green juice. Guys. It was so bad. It was so bad. It tasted like... It tasted like grass. My mom agreed with me with that too, so I know I'm not exaggerating, but, um, oops. You know, you live and you learn. I'm just not going to drink it, so I'm washing it out. Here we have salt, flour, sugar, yeast, and then the last ingredient is just water. Um, so I'm going to grab my stand mixer. That thing is so beyond heavy. I wish you could, like, I'm about to struggle for two minutes trying to get this thing out of the closet. Okay, I was exaggerating. It's not that bad. It's still heavy, but I can do it because I'm strong. I'm gonna be using the dough, um, what is this called? A dough hook. By the way, this recipe is from someone named Jesse on lifeasastrawberry.com. Easy, crusty French bread. Two and a quarter teaspoons of active dry yeast. So I have to combine the yeast, sugar, and warm water. Two and a quarter teaspoons. One, two, and a quarter. And then a teaspoon of sugar. It says you can also use honey if you want, but I'm just gonna use sugar. And then one and a quarter cups of warm water. 
And then it says to let that sit for five minutes until the yeast gets like foamy. So I'm just gonna let that be. And while that's sitting, I'm just gonna like get the flour ready. I'll show you what's going on with the yeast here. It's definitely doing its job. It says two and a half to three and a half cups and it's basically like if you scoop it, it's a different amount than if you like pour it. Like it, some for some reason that matters. Um, I'll read exactly what it says. To measure flour in cups, if you measure flour by dipping your cup straight into the bag or bin and shaking off the excess, plan to use about two and a half cups of flours. If you measure by stirring the flour with a spoon and scooping it before into a measuring cup and leveling it off, plan to use about three cups of flours. I'm using this measuring cup, so I'm going to have to scoop the flour into it. I'm just going to kind of show you what I'm doing. So this is about two cups. I spilled flour on my phone, so we're going to... Add the flour, that was two cups, I still need half a cup. And then it says to mix with a sturdy spatula, so I feel like this works. <laughs> So I'm going to add salt to this and then put it all in the stand mixer. So it calls for one and a quarter teaspoons of salt. just like one more spoonful of flour. It says the dough can be like sticky at this point, but I feel like it just needs a tiny bit more flour. So I'm just adding a little bit more and I'm gonna mix it again. Cover the dough with a clean tea towel and let it rise on the counter for about an hour until the dough has doubled in size. I'm just going to clean up, put the ingredients away, and then I have some other stuff around the house that I want to do while that's rising. And we'll be back. I have some items that I need to return, so I'm going to go to the UPS store. And I also have to get cat food and cat litter. So I'm going to be running some errands and I'll take you with me. So I just went to UPS, took way longer than I expected it to, but it's okay. Um, we are back in the car. I'm gonna go get litter. No, I'm gonna go get cat food, and then I have to go to Target to get the litter and some pesto. And I think I'm gonna hit up Starbucks because I have a gift card. Petco haul. I got my cats two variety packs of wet food. I get the brand Applause um, because it's a very limited ingredients. Like, let me read the ingredients. It's a variety pack, so I'm just gonna read one of them. Tuna, the tuna one. Ingredients, tuna, fish broth, and rice. That's it. Like, come on. I feel like so many cat food, wet food, whatever, is filled with just like gums and chemicals and preservatives and stuff like that. Um, so I was really happy I found this brand because there's like literally nothing other than what I want to give them in it, which is great. And then I got another one of those, but chicken variety. And then I got them this, which I've never done before, but um, it's for digestive health and probiotics. And one of my cats, um, actually both of them deal with like digestive stuff here and there. So I thought this would be great to try. Um, and you just like put it on top of their dry food. So, They'll be happy about that. Just got back from Target, or just got out of Target. I went to Starbucks and I got a latte. I saw they had a new one, or maybe it's not new, but I have never seen it before. It was the pistachio latte. So I got a medium iced pistachio latte with oat milk and cold foam. It's like pretty good. It's not like I'm like, holy shit. Like, I don't know if I would get it again but it's definitely good. 
And then I got litter, pretty litter is what I get. And then I got pesto. And then also at Starbucks, I got this little cheese trio. Um, I never get food from there, but I'm hungry and I feel like snacking for a minute, so. <laughs> My bread has been rising for way too long. So I saw this TikTok of a girl talking about the millennial pause and I was like, what the fuck? Because I'd never heard of that and I'm not a millennial, I'm Gen Z, but I 100% do that every time I record, which if you don't know what it is, it's when you click the record button and say like, okay, like you start the video with like, okay. They say that people in Gen Z will just kind of like start talking and know how to do that. Well. It just totally called me out. It reminded me because I just did that to myself. Okay. But anyways, we're gonna rewrite it all right now. And I'm gonna take you along when you through that process. So usually I'll just kind of like do a little intro with their name and kind of like a happy birthday thing. I also have my phone right here because I will be looking up rhyming words with whatever word I'm trying to rhyme with and that always helps me. Okay, I'm gonna start with Josie Girl. You are so great. Okay, so here's the poem for your birth date. Next line. You saw it coming, I know you did. Now this is when I pull out my phone and look up rhymes with did, and then I'll kind of like pick a word and angle that sentence around it. Mid, id, grid, kid, kid. All right, that's a good one. And you saw it coming, I know you did, so let me tell you why you're a great kid. I wrote, loyal by default, always having our backs. Rhymes with backs. Let's see. Then influencing me to chill and relax. So true. Um, okay, I'm gonna say something about how... The rest of that video <laughs> just didn't make sense. I was talking to myself. So, the poem is done, and I'm gonna read you the final results. Um, I changed a couple things, but nothing major. Josie girl, you are so great, so here is the poem for your birthday. You saw it coming, I know you did, so let me tell you why you're a great kid. Loyal by default, always having our backs, influencing me to chill and relax. A determined mind, always working so hard, let yourself breathe, let yourself recharge. Saying this because I'm so proud of you, and to give you credit where credit is due. A childlike nature brings comfort to me, a mind that's bright, a spirit that's free. Your intuition glows through your expressive outlets, whether paintings or pictures, and always your outfits. Your intelligence lies in so many places, I'll remind you when you'd win all the races. 
Athletics, friendships, creativity too, to be so well-rounded it's hard to do. With Hopes 23 brings you confidence and peace and that anxieties or sadness will soon decrease. My Capricorn bestie, so many great mems, I'll name a few to reminisce on the gems. Saved you from prom, it was a close call, found hiding in the kitchen from Paula and Paul. Summer 2018 with you every day, us your backyard and of course an ashtray. So many concerts and trips with the pals, wouldn't be the same without you and the gals. I'll wrap it up because this was way too long. So much to say about someone so strong. You're a lovely friend in person too. Never change or stop being you. Ta-da! So cute, right? Like, oh my gosh, I love writing poems. It's just, it's such a great way to like, like if I had written that, just like in a card, like tried to say everything I said, but in just like a letter format, I feel like it would sound so much more like sappy or mushy or just like too much. But I feel like the poem adds this like fun to it and I just really love it and I'm so excited to give it to her now I'm gonna see her tomorrow I know that last night when I was trying to record my process it, I wasn't being very clear um I don't know I was clearly tired but that's pretty much it and I think that'll wrap up today's video so I hope you enjoyed watching if you did thank you so much um I'm about to say <laughs> It's just so funny to say this stuff. Like, it makes me, like, nervous for a weird reason. But I was just gonna say, like, don't be afraid to like and subscribe. <laughs> this will probably be my first video. So I'm really happy and I'm really excited to be doing this. And if you enjoyed, let me know. I would love to hear feedback. I think that's all I have to say. Eef. But seriously, thank you so much for watching again if you did. And I will see you next time when I post another video. Bye!